My name is Yusuf, and I think it's very important that I make this video <clears throat> because I want to tell everybody out there that if I had heard what I was saying about Archon or even about the war in the Balkans, um, the conflict in former Yugoslavia, I would be very hostile towards me too. I would hate the things uh, that I have said, and I would have uh, been very hostile to anybody saying them. Um, I want to say I was going to the Majid um, Mosque in Villa Park, Islamic Foundation, when um, when the war was going on, and actually that was one of the motivators to actually have me go to a Majid or mosque. Sorry, I'll use your terms, um, because as you know, my family wasn't big on religion; they were more cultural than anything. Um, and even when I was Eastern Orthodox, there was one thing: well, why are this this you know, I, I would say, well, the Serbian bishops and stuff are for the genocide. And I got corrected saying, no, 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 no. There was only the a few priests that were involved. And those people were right. And then, okay. <laughs> I found definite a lot of, a lot of things to say other than what the BBC has presented and CNN has presented about Serbia and what went on there. Um, and I actually told my brother, I said, Kosovo, they're going to give, you know, I, I told him what was going to happen with that. And a year and a half later, I showed him the newspaper of what happened. Um, or much less than that, a few months. Um, but uh, I will, and then, and then uh, in the few days after this gets published, um, I'm going to have, I'm going to make sure there's links down in the description to... Um, to give you the other point of view, because I just don't want to have this without any supporting facts or anything. But um, I go like this to support Archon and his tigers. Uh, people say, well, he's a gangster, he's a drug dealer, uh, even before the war. Okay. Mary of Egypt was a prostitute. Paul was a persecutor of Christians, and he had St. Stephen murdered. The Russian royal family were oppressive. Um, St. Moses the Strong or Moses of Ethiopia was a bandit and killer. Um, this is at the beginning of someone's life, right? Uh, so, and Mary of Egypt was a Christian. She was she was whoring her way to get to um, to get to a shrine or something and to see it, you know. And, and she wouldn't, wasn't even allowed to enter the building. Um, and I would have been extremely hostile to anybody saying this and be like, well, that's like denying the Holocaust or that's like saying, well, the Nazis were right. And, and people who hear me say, oh, I'm a nationalist. No, that doesn't. The only thing that means, the only thing I mean by that is that I'm for ethnic self-determination. I believe the Irish have the right to Ireland. I've always been supportive of uh, the IRA when in their conflict with uh, England. Um, I think 26 plus 6 equals 1. I believe all peoples have the right to defend their their land and be safe in it. Um, so I'm not I'm totally against Hitler because he was not a nationalist. He's own national socialist, whatever the heck that is. He was imperialist. He wanted to take over the world. He, okay, reuniting German lands. Um, all right, okay. Then he invaded France and... Greece, um, just taking over these vast swaths of land. Why did he go? Why did he invade Denmark? It's this is. I mean, no, he didn't care about other nations. He wanted all nations to be his. He even wrote a book about how he's going to conquer America. The Japanese weren't nationalists. They didn't respect the Chinese uh, right to have their own country or the Philippines. Um, but I, I understand any, any hostility towards um, my view on Serbia or Archon, absolutely. Um, and anybody who holds hostility, anybody who's hostile about that, I would ask you just to, just to look at the other side. And even if, even if you totally disagree, even if you um, still are like, no, I'm not convinced, that's fine. Um, I just urge people to look at the other side of things. Uh, but I wanted to say also, Kosovo is Serbia. We can look at the facts and say, okay, in the in the late eighties, the majority was Serbian. And then after NATO bombing when all those people left, 
there was an influx of people from Albania. And why were 800 churches and monasteries destroyed if there were no Orthodox Christians there? And I also want to ask, okay, let's say there, let's say there is an ethnic cleansing, a genocide, death camps, right? Um, so you carpet bomb areas, you bomb hospitals, bridges, roads, um, factories. This is what you do. This is how you fight a genocide. People say, well, I've seen pictures in Time Magazine and the BBC. Uh, those pictures of barbed wire, uh, that was a transformer station that was, you can even see in the picture the barbed wire is on the other side. Uh, and they actually have footage, and I'll put a link to where it shows the footage, because um, there was another camera crew there where you can see the people aren't behind barbed wire. Actually, the cameraman was, and it shows how the pictures were doctored to show, like, this man who actually had a natural deformity, uh, where his ribs were showing, because nobody else looks like that. And they have him standing next to another guy who's kind of dirty. They had their shirts off because it was hot out. They were asking him questions, saying, well, you know, are you fine? You know, is there any, are they killing you? And they said, no, we're fine. And people said, oh, well, Oh, and they, that's because the Serbian guards were standing right there and they would have been killed. Um, okay. Why then was it... Um, <laughs> why, I, why then was it when the camera crew shows everything, there's not a guard or anything for... You can see miles around. Um, if you watch the th the documentary, uh, it's, you can find it, Archon documentary, Archon the War Criminal, and... It's this History Channel um, documentary that did on Archon and his tigers. The cameraman talks about how Archon let him go anywhere they wanted, let him film anything they wanted, and yet, where was the genocide? Where was the... I mean, the BBC, Penny Marshall, not the Penny Marshall in the movie, in American movies, but Penny Marshall, the, B the BBC reporter, had footage from Ternopolier and many other many other detention camps, um, and the film from pretty much everywhere was of healthy people who were fine, who had fine living conditions, and everything had to be doctored. I will put links to the videos uh, down below, um, but I, I, I would ask people to, uh, if you... <laughs> anybody questions the World Trade Towers, which I don't, I think it was uh, Saudi Arabians with, uh, you know, airplanes. If you question that, why wouldn't you question um, not only uh, Clinton and all, you know, all the bombings and then continuing on to George Bush and question U.S. and NATO's motivation along with England, um, but why wouldn't you, why, why wouldn't you question the fact that you're bombing, you're bombing a genocide. And then they stopped for the whole month of Ramadan, right? But they didn't stop for Holy Week, just seven days, which the Orthodox Church petitioned them to do. Um, what about the KL, the Kosovo Liberation Army, which was not indigenous people. These were Taliban fighters. We, we actually knew about this at, at, um, at Islamic Foundation. And then when uh, the war in Afghanistan started, I said, you know what, these people... Some of them actually are good. You can see why people would like them because they helped us over in Bosnia. And even though by that time I had I had no longer kept going into the mudget, um, but I still was like, well, you know, they're not. They do defend some people, and you could decide a different view of Chechnya and Bosnia and uh, Kashmir. Um, but the KLA committed a lot of war crimes. Uh, today, when people try to go back to Kosovo, they get killed. And today there is people who blockaded a, bri um, a bridge, and hopefully the blockade's up with this garbage trash, because the Serbs, the Serbs did this, and they live on one side, and they're scared to death of the uh, Albanians in Kosovo. Um, so I'd urge you to, uh, to look at the videos. Um, peace to you. May God save Serbia and Syria. Um, and also I'd ask people to not take all the propaganda against Bashar al-Assad and look at the footage where the Christians are actually fighting to keep Bashar al-Assad in power. He's an Alevi in there, Christians fighting and dying for him. Because once the Mujahideen comes in and they found out that these are international forces, this isn't just people uprising, uh, that they're going to be killed. 
the holy city of Damascus, which was the seat of Antioch displaced in Damascus. The Christians are going to get destroyed. Um, and John McCain is calling for airstrikes. Look at how bad uh, Fox News and CNN and the U.S. messed up uh, because of South Ossetia, because they got it dead wrong about South Ossetia, because of CNN and Fox News reported it. Uh, the president said, oh, Russia's got to back off. When Russia actually stopped the ethnic cleansing, they only went 145 feet into, into Georgia. Um, I would just ask people to question things like this. If you're going to question, oh, the war in Iraq was for oil, why aren't we getting any oil? Why are oil prices still high if we didn't, <laughs> we're taking all their oil? If you believe that, if you believe planes flew into the World Trade Center, um, or if you question that, uh, then apply that questioning to other areas too. Um, and it may not, there may be things that anger you a lot and uh, injustices that still have gone on. It's only a few, <laughs> it's, it's a minority of countries that, suppose, that support Kosovo's independence, yet UN and NATO troops have guns there and are keeping, are allowing, you know, now Kosovo is like 98%, um, 98% uh, Albanian when it was the ancient motherland and homeland of the Serbs. Also, Serbrenica, uh, there was a genocide there, there was this and that. Uh, uh, there's footage, hopefully I'll be able to find it, of the KLA and the the Muslims kicking out all the Orthodox Christians, forcing them to leave. Um, and when <laughs> and the majority of the people that got killed, that even even BBC and CNN admit this, that uh, the Serb army or the Serbs that had fought against uh, the Muslims had killed men. The women and children they put on buses to leave but they killed men that were associated with the ethnic cleansing and murder of other Orthodox people. So this wasn't, they're not massacring men, women, and children. The men, women, and children crap, that's the KLA, the wiping out of people. Um, and it's too bad because since that, uh, Bosnian Muslims were a majority of beer drinking, not beard wearing, <laughs> uh, very kind of secular, not very hardcore, and now there's a lot of mosques funded by ISNA, that's Saudi Arabia, same ones that funded Islamic Foundation. We hear Wahhabism being pumped into there, and it's terrible. So I would just urge you, anybody who hates my stance on Serbia and Archon, um, to question it. I'm going to title this uh, Archon the Brave, Serbia's Kosovo, or uh, uh, something. Peace to you. May God save Serbia and Syria.